Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'll be speaking on uh, what would what could happen on Monday and when to trade. Uh, maybe uh, uh, today if the market uh, on Monday if the market opens at about uh, by say 300 points, then uh, upwards, then we can expect to uh, buy and we can we can trade in the positive or we can we can buy the option. And uh, if it goes below this, then we can uh, sell. Okay, we can sell, but mostly uh, i uh, i i do believe that uh, market would uh, on monday market could uh, go in positive and uh, even if if 36000 uh, if it cross 36340 or more then we can expect to buy and uh, the mark uh, bank nifty is at support point so right now even if the market tries to dip on Monday, mostly the market should not dip on Monday. But if it if it dips on Monday, then we can expect to sell on uh, sell because it's already at the support point. So if it if it uh, opens in a negative, then we can sell uh, keep selling the option option. Okay, and uh, Nifty also Nifty. If we want to buy the Nifty, the uh, the point the point where we can buy is at three seventeen thousand three hundred forty approximate so 17340 fit cross then we can uh, buy nifty 50 okay we can place a buy or buy a bet and uh, if you want to sell uh, sell then if it goes down nifty is already below the support level so it's almost on the support level so if it goes still below then then uh, we can plan to sell okay but uh, i feel the market should recover and ma market should uh, market should go more towards 18,000 in uh, nifty 50 and uh, even in bag nifty the market should recover on Monday okay so mostly uh, we have to see that how much it will recover it, if it recovers mostly bag nifty I can we can expect it to recover by say 300 points uh, the index could move up by 300 points uh, mostly so but we do not know we will just check that okay and uh, so we can so also uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, i would uh, be posting more information on this and uh, this is uh, i'll just uh, want to show you that uh, this is bank nifty chart this is the bank nifty chart and uh, it was down by 771 points bank nifty and uh, nifty was down by 220 points so if you are uh, trading in options then uh, it's a very good uh, place to buy on monday uh, but uh, we do not know so we can just wait and see if the market could recover and uh, i just want to show you one more thing is that uh, for monday uh, is showing the FII DI and the FII DI activity has not been updated yet okay and the global market is still showing a negative okay. so we'll see we'll just see if uh, the market recovers most of the market should recover and uh, the market should go towards the positive side okay this is the Paytm uh, app screen so uh, this is how it looks like so this is the funds available the funds available is this okay if you want to put funds you can add money to this okay 5000 okay you can add money to this and uh, then you have margin against the stocks okay and if you are a new new trader new retail trader then i would suggest that you would not uh, trade in much uh, more amounts so try to reduce the level uh, try to i usually do out of the money trades and i don't do uh, add the money trade because I'm just uh, trying to take a break for some time from trading. So I'm just trying, I'm just uh, doing trading on expiry day or I just take one one trade per day. And uh, I would suggest that if you are uh, more into over trading or if you are more into uh, uh, trading more and impulsive trading, you can avoid that. You can just uh, take one trade per day or one or two trades per day and, and uh, follow a risk management principle. Okay. 
okay so these are the things and uh, i would suggest that uh, also that uh, if you uh, that if you would, uh, if you are very new and you have not uh, joined you're not you never do trading then uh, paytm is a very good option to trade you can uh, you can open a demat in a trading account in paytm and uh, it's got a very good uh, app okay and uh, the process is very simple and uh, for for example if you want to trade in option trading you you need to submit your uh, bank statements and for the last 6 months and then you can do option trading if you just want to do intraday trading you don't need to submit the bank statements okay and uh, this is the reliance uh, option trading reliance so reliance uh, you need to buy a minimum of 250 250 units okay so 250 is uh, one unit okay so like that if you add you keep adding 500 so you can keep adding this okay this is reliance then you go back then you have maruti so these are the different uh, this and indian stock market is very cheap so if you suppose you want to learn something from the indian stock market and uh, you want to do some trading uh, you are in us or you are some in some other country and you want to do some trading you can just uh, uh, try doing trading in Indian stock markets. Very volatile, and you get a good uh, you get a good learning curve through Indian stock market. So try trading in Indian stock market, and uh, so you get a lot of things to learn. Then you can maybe uh, try in U.S. stock market, and you can try different opportunities and. Uh, option options in Indian market like we usually trade in uh, Nifty Fifty. Nifty Fifty is a set of fifty companies, uh, and uh, Bank Nifty is set of about ten or twelve banks. Okay, and the primary bank in Nifty Bank is SDFC Bank. Okay, and uh, in Nifty Fifty also SDFC Limited is there, and uh, also we try to check Reliance uh, share stock moving up and down. Okay, and so this is the thing and. Uh, I would just be covering more more things, uh, more more updates I will be giving. And uh, if you are not subscribed to my channel, you can subscribe to my channel, and uh, I will keep you updated with more information. So this is the SDFC lot. Uh, this is about uh, 720 SDFC. The 20th April is the expiry day. I'll just show you 20th April. Okay, this is the 20th April. This is the expiry day. Okay, 20th April. Okay, so 20th April is the expiry date, 28th April, okay, 28th April is the expiry date. So you can uh, modify this, suppose the stock is very volatile and you can just put 4. The thing about this is like, uh, about this is the only drawback about this is pretty good SDFC is that you need to have, uh, uh, there is some kind of settlement issue going on with the, uh, with the uh, NSC and uh, and the broker so that's that's a big issue so usually what we do is uh, just to be on the safer side we trade trade on index okay the nifty 50 index or uh, the bank nifty index okay so that's a very safe uh, way to trade and uh, we are not very clear about uh, the expiry day as to what happens okay so we'll see uh, if there's some more updates we'll keep you updated and uh, also the chart uh, we just need to make a note like right now it's uh, bank nifty is at 36,000 so we hope that the market recovers and it touches about uh, goes to about 40,000 because everybody wants the stock price to go up so even nifty like we are expecting about it to go up by 800 or 900 points but we'll just see like how the market uh, updates okay so I'll end this uh, video right now and I'll keep you posted with more information. Okay, thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day. Bye.